Sir? Yes? I have a question, but will you kill me if I ask this? It depends on the question you ask. Okay. So for conditions like myocardial infarction or cerebral vascular accident, we are majorly treating the patient with the help of antiplatelets. However, for conditions like deep vein thrombosis or pulmonary embolism, we are majorly treating with the help of anticoagulants like heparin or warfarin. Why is that difference? Not bad. Catch. So the answer for your question is very simple. Both arterial thrombi and venous thrombi are mechanically different. That is, arterial thrombi majorly formed in high pressure and high flow areas. We call it as white clots because they are rich in platelets since they are formed due to any damage or injury to the vessel walls. Since they are rich in platelets, we are considering antiplatelets like aspirin and clopidogrel in conditions like myocardial infarction and cerebral vascular accidents because they are arterial thrombi. Whereas venous thrombus are majorly formed in low pressure and low flow areas. They are called red clots because they are rich in fibrin and orbesis because they majorly formed due to any conditions like stasis or hypercoagulability. Since they are rich in fibrin, we are preferring anticoagulants like warfarin and aparin in conditions like deep vein thrombosis. Thanks for this knowledge. Wait, where are you going? I still have a knife. Suppose if you are suspecting a myocardial infection in a patient and you want to refer it to higher center, what are the combination of drugs that you give initially as a loading dose? Help me by telling the answers in comment section.